Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Lainey. Today we're going to be filming how to style fall 2022 trends. I'm going to show as many as I can on BOD, but I don't have all of them, even though these are just fall trends that I like right now. I haven't been buying new clothes because I just don't know what my size is going to be after this little girl comes out. So, Okay, the first trend I have on my list is red. So really the only thing I have that are red and these aren't even mine these are my friend amanda's fairbies freaking adorable like ballet flats with just a little bit of a heel she thrifted these um and they're to die for so we can style these i think i have more red that just like doesn't fit right now and then i also have a pair of red cowboy boots gonna think anything i pair with these you could pair with the red cowboy boots those are just still at my parents house i haven't brought them because it's hard to carry things this is actually knocking out two trends because the other ones are ballet flats, and you guys always ask me so many questions on how to style ballet flats. We'll do these ones first with the little heel, and then I'll show you like a true pair. So let's figure something out to wear with these. Okay, I think my favorite way to style these are with like a midi skirt. Honestly, I like a midi skirt that doesn't have a slit. I don't really like the slit, so I kind of want to like put it in the back. But then there's a seam in the front and also like this midi skirt it's like isn't as long as i want it to be i want it to be like a few inches longer because i feel like it makes me look stubby with these heels i don't know let's keep going though i wouldn't wear it with this i'm gonna put a like baggy sweater on i think let's do like my favorite okay that kind of helps it so i really like using the trend the color red as like a pop of color i think it's so fun um especially red leather red leather shoes a red leather purse so freaking adorable i think also if you're not like into the super bright pop of red you could do like a burgundy color i think this outfit would be really cute with high knee high boots honestly i feel like i'm just like not used to my body looking like this so i feel a little bit like i look short and i'm not short i'm five seven i don't know what do you guys think of it let's try one more way to style these little pop of red heels okay i feel like i almost like this better which i didn't think i was going to yeah i like this a lot better um these are actually my boyfriend's jeans and they fit perfectly under the bump right now so that's what we're working with i think that this is just a lot more my style right now let's add a bag because i actually like this outfit so much better i'll style it when i do a super baggy look like this my favorite thing is to do just like a little shoulder bag um this is obviously a super chill outfit and something that i've worn a million and four times but adding the little heel shoe it's fun like i think that this is a really cute way to wear red and ballet flats so i also wanted to show you guys though i literally went to the thrift store yesterday and i found the exact same ones i'm wearing but in black let's put these on and see what it looks like these are also a bigger size i think so they're just oh they're a little comfier amanda's letting me borrow these red ones right now because i might wear them for my baby shower come on i don't want to bend over and here's the same outfit with the black heels i like it better with the red honestly and i think i would have liked that first outfit better with these black heels they're so cute. I love how mini the heel is. They really look like tabbies. Like, you know, the tabbies everyone has, the Mesa Margiela tabbies. But without the ugly, you guys know I mean now, without the split toe. Not that I don't like the split toe, I just like can't see it lasting for me for how expensive they are. So I'm loving this one. That's so cute. Adorable. Okay, let's go on to a true pair of ballet flats. Try and style them for the fall. The limited amount of clothes that fit me right now. <laughs> okay, I know this is really similar, but we've got the jeans on still because again, we don't have that many choices of pants. And then I paired it with Carhartt denim jacket my dad got from Facebook Marketplace. And then these look like Miu Mews. They're not, they're fake. They're from the brand Caitlin Pan. I got them like in February and I've honestly worn them a lot and they've held up really nicely. They're still like a hundred bucks so it's not like they're cheap but if you guys know the Mew Mew ones like this are sold out everywhere I tried getting them second hand and they just like did not exist <laughs> who loves 
months watching me struggle to get dressed now. Again, super cute. I think if you're going to wear just a true ballet flat, I personally like it with a straight leg pant. Obviously, I like them with like a midi skirt, a mini skirt, shorts even. I've worn them a bunch of different ways in the summertime. But for the fall, I think a straight leg pant is the way to go. Nothing too, too baggy because then... <laughs> I feel like it just makes you look like you're wearing kind of like slippers. But I really like the take of like denim on denim and then dressing it up a little bit with these ballet flats. These ones really aren't that feminine because they've got like the big buckles. Let's do like a pop of color bag. My version of the pop of color is metallic. This purse is from Versa Bags. Literally the best quality purses you'll ever get your hands on in your entire life. Sheehan makes all these real leather purses in Greece and she is literally the sweetest ever. I'll link it below. She has an Etsy shop. But I love how this outfit looks. This is one of my favorite outfits ever. Obviously, these denims don't match, and it's still really cute that way. But if you do have matching denims, I also love that. That's normally what I do, but I don't have, you know, a million jeans to pick out from right now. Um, these aren't even mine. These are my boyfriend's. We make do, and I still think it's really cute. Silver and like metallic is also something that is still trending for fall 2022. Literally, I talked about it in like a fall 2021 video, I think. I don't know. I think I want to react to my old video because it'd be so funny to see what I thought was going to be trending and what like took until now to start trending. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Yeah, here's ballet flats. Let's do one more way. Here's the next outfit with like true ballet flats. We've got these pants that I thrifted. This top is from Hatch if you're pregnant. Check out Hatch because they literally have the best pregnancy clothes ever and I love that this t-shirt like down over my belly. So again, we've got like the straight leg style pants again. I think it's really cute. And with this, you know, on a cooler day, I'd probably add this jacket. I really like the like mixing and this jacket takes this look from looking a little bit summery to a lot more fall appropriate. <laughs> I can't breathe. And we could do this silver purse again. I think it's a really cute look. Adorable. It's a fun take on like the trench and white t-shirt and switching it up with a pair of, you know, printed pants. Love, love, love. I recently just thrifted this jacket. It's a wool trench. It's literally so thick. It had shoulder pads in it. No, it still does. I think I'm gonna cut them out. But <laughs> I got this for $14 and does not, oh, it does button. Why did it not button earlier? The button's over my bum. Adorable. Love it with the ballet flats, but obviously if you're not into ballet flats, pair with sneakers, boots, what other shoes exist? I don't know. Okay, what's the next trend we should talk about? The next trend that I actually own is like the loose neck kind of off the shoulder top. So let's put an outfit with that. Guys, this is so hard. Seven and a half months pregnant. This is feeling a little too summery to me. Can we make it work with like black accessories? Should we try? Okay, well, like loose neck off the shoulder top is from Depop. It doesn't have a tag or anything. But it's literally so perfect. I am obsessed with it. And then these pants that are so perfect, I got off Abercrombie. They're actually pajama pants and they look exactly like the Jerk Avenue ones. Um, they've got pockets, no elastic that makes it look like PJs. And I got them for 20 bucks, they're on sale. Maybe they're still on sale. Let's add black accessories and see if we can make this look less summery. Got black loafers from Steve Madden. Let's try a bigger black bag from Depop, but it's Harley Davidson. I don't know, this still feels a little bit summery to me. Maybe it's a good like transition piece or transition outfit, like I could wear this outside today. I feel like the black accessories definitely help. I don't know, maybe it's cause like my belly sticks out so much so it feels really summery. But you know, if I wasn't pregnant, that wouldn't be happening. But like, I think it's cute. Like I don't mind it at all. Um, It's still a really cute outfit though, fall and I don't want to put like a jacket over it because then it just like defeats the purpose of this like slouchy top neckline we've got going on so you can see it better um let's style this top another way this already feels a lot more fall weathery um this is a thrifted skirt that is super elasticy, so it fits right now which i love and probably like black boots we're gonna dress it up a bit if you guys watch all my videos you know that my boots don't zip up my calves right now i have like not just my calves are super swollen but my um like feet and ankles are so swollen right now. Let's just please pretend they're zipped up. Like, 
I can do it. I just don't want to be bothered right now, honestly. But like, look how chic that looks. These heels are originally from the loft, I think. Yeah, but I got them off Poshmark. And like, I couldn't ask for a more perfect heel height and shape and toe shape. Like, they are so good. Like, they can be so casual. Oh, there's my leg. They can be so casual or like, you know, dressed up a bit, but they're just like, Comfy. So yeah, let's go back with that small purse. I'm stomping. <laughs> okay, here's that little uh, baby Gucci purse. That's from the vintage plug. I love the color combos of this. I think it's so pretty. Obviously, this shirt is only for like warmer weather, but you can layer with it if you need. I just kind of want to show it because it's my only like sweater. The big open neck. And I think it's adorable. I love, love, love how this looks. I would style this with cargo pants if they fit me right now. Um, my jeans I love. I love my midi denim skirt and these boots. I've shown that outfit before. Um, what else can you pair this with that doesn't fit me right now? Literally anything. It goes with so many things, but these are two outfits that fit and are super cute. Okay, next trend I want to talk about are loose socks. I don't know why that always makes me laugh and giggle, but I've got them on right now. Let's put an outfit on around loose socks. <laughs> okay, so here we've got an outfit that I actually like a lot more than I thought I was going to. My socks are just from Amazon. These little loafers are thrifted from the little boys section, but they're very top sider. We've got this mini skirt that I honestly don't even remember where it's from, but it doesn't fit me really well right now. And there's actually a slit that's supposed to go in the front and in the back, so if I turn around, I'll flash in my whole butt. But I just wanted a mini skirt that doesn't have a slit in it, and I don't have one that fits over me right now. And then this little plaid black and brown jacket I recently thrifted, and I think it's so cute. It's kind of like the work style jackets that are very trendy right now. Yeah, I think that this is a really cute, simple outfit. Obviously wearing your loose socks with, why is loose socks such a funny word to me? Or like two words together. Wearing them with loafers, ballet flats, heels, tennis shoes, anything is so adorable. And then if you really want to show them off, pairing them with a skirt or shorts or something like that. Let's try and style them with pants in a way that you can see them. I just don't know if I have pants right now that aren't. So let's see what we've got going on. Okay, this is something that will work. Sweatpants or joggers, because you can pull them up kind of over the sock. And I really like this look. Also, these sweatpants are like Jigonga. And it's my favorite ever. These are from Los Angeles Apparel and they're like a dream. We could do sambas. And I think that this little sweater vest that I thrifted is pretty cute with it. It's like dressing it up, but not. I think I'm gonna do my New Balance 550s. I don't know what like era these are supposed to be, but they feel like a little bit 80s like the socks are. I think like a cream sock would be better than this white one with these shoes. I know you guys don't come here for like sweatpants outfits. Like you don't need someone to tell you how to wear sweatpants. But um, honestly, the way like I try and dress up my sweatpants and just make them look cool 24 seven. And I think adding the socks, like I look like I could be on the ALD website right now. Are they trying to recruit a pregnant model? And then if it's like hotter or colder outside, any jacket could work with this. But I think a trench is that super cool. It's just a super cool look. It's very like Hailey Bieber. I like her style a lot. It's like simple and easy. This is something I would wear in college all the time and I always felt like I was like so fashionable and I'm not. Yeah, this is a fun outfit. Perfect for the fall. I love it. Like this is something I wear 24 seven. We're making do with my closet people. Also like a varsity jacket would be really cute with this outfit. But mine again is at my parents house still. We're still moving things. Come by me, I need to sit down to talk about this next part of the video. You guys are getting like a major studio sneak peek. Trash and stuff going on, ignore it. It's not done, obviously. Okay, the next things I wanted to talk about though, I don't own, so I just figured we can sit down and chat about them. So the next thing, okay, I do own this. It's thick belts. So I recently thrifted this belt. Eh, I guess you could say thrifted. It's from Poshmark, it's the brand Moschino. And it is so adorable with like just that big belt buckle on it. 
um, the heart and gold I love 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 I think if you're gonna participate in this trend I've kind of already I've said this a million times but don't go for like the super mainstream version that everyone's getting so everyone has that diesel version and I think we're gonna get sick of like that exact belt you know really quickly because you just see it over and over and over but if you get something vintage or just like secondhand or whatever something's not every person has you won't get sick of it as fast wearing those you know like i've said lower waisted over dresses over midi skirts with your blue jeans like where the belt would go on a low waisted pair of jeans adorable i like it when the belt isn't like the focal point of the outfit or like that's not the whole reason the outfit's cute you know you still gotta put your other sense of style in there but really really cute uh, a million ways to style the belt fur coats i don't have mine with me but i think this is really coming from that kind of like indie sleeves that we're seeing come back like the tumblr like grungy era um i think it's cute wearing it in a very like grunge way with just like a t-shirt and jeans and sneakers is probably what i'll be doing all winter um end of fall when like appropriate to wear for a fur jacket honestly i could see myself wearing it with like these joggers and sneakers and then putting a fur jacket on it's just so wrong that it feels so right to me and i basically pair everything with like joggers or sweatpants oh and then finally pairing your fur coat in a dressed up way that just like wearing your fur coat to a black tie event to like a wedding or an event uh with your dress or to a night out you know pairing it with a pair of leather pants hands would be so adorable um any skirts dresses obviously i think like those gingham pants and the fur coat would be really fun they feel so wrong because gingham feels like maybe fall time i can show how to style the fur coat once it gets closer to winter and i'll probably do another outfits video of like you know cooler fall outfits because my last fall outfits video was definitely for like warmer outfits uh then i have stripes i've been seeing so many stripes and i feel like we're just gonna be seeing you know more and more things with stripes and i say stripes again and for this literally pair it with whatever pair it with blue jeans with your trousers in kind of a preppy way i think we're seeing these stripes like i really like the like rugby style stripes where they're like that thicker one or just any sweater with stripes on it it's an adorable a classic piece but we're just going to be seeing more anything else i want to talk about i don't think so let me know in the comments below how you'd be styling these pieces and i'm sorry that you know my outfits videos are kind of all over the place right now i really don't know what to say i'm pregnant <laughs> um i'm trying to work in more you know baby content maybe i'll do a like baby shower haul but i just can't decide what i want to share and what i don't want to share um come to realize that the internet knows nothing about me and it's kind of nice keeping it like that <laughs> but i love you guys the absolute most make sure to like comment and subscribe if you want to and i'll see you in a few days bye <laughs>